Well, hello all. I'm continuing my quest to recycle uh, plastic by doing the following. I have a thermos flask. It does not work because it's lost its vacuum. So my idea is to take this stony ginger beer bottle and it's plastic. It's a good insulator. Now you can tell that this has lost its vacuum because your drink goes cold if it was hot to start off with very quickly and the outside feels hot so if we can provide a insulating layer around this thermos flask then we can um, help it to stay if it's hot it can stay hot if it's cold it can stay cold let's first take this is a stony ginger beer bottle let's take the wrapper off we don't want that on and to get the thermos flask to fit inside here, we're going to take a saw and cut the hard So we've cut the hard top off and then to allow us to fit the um, thermos flask in, I'm going to cut it like this now my experience my limited experience with um, heating plastic of this nature is that the moment you heat it it gets very it gets very it shrinks I don't, I've washed this bottle out I don't want water inside here when I shrink heat it so this is, the plan is that this is going to shrink as I heat it in the oven around this thermos flask. So that is the hope, that it'll shrink in place and form an insulating layer around the thermos flask that will make the thermos flask a better thermos flask and better insulated. So I'm just busy drying all this uh, this bottle that I washed out. This is the stony ginger beer bottle. I could use clear plastic. I did notice with a Coca-Cola bottle, clear Coca-Cola bottle. Wow, did that plastic just shrink like crazy. So I'm trusting that this plastic will do the same. So here I'm busy trying to poke this into there. There we go. That's now fitting in there. And let's stick it in the oven and see if all this plastic shrinks tight around this thermos flask. So here is our oven. This will fit on this grid. There is at least, on either side of the thermos flask, at least 10 millimeter gap. Is that we're gonna roll? I think that's okay. We're going to stick that in the oven. And we're putting the oven on 200. There's the 200 mark. And we're going to put that onto grill and from below it heats up pretty quickly and then we're going to see what happens to whether this plastic will shrink wrap itself around this metal thermos flask so i'm expecting that as the plastic reaches a certain temperature it's just going to shrink and wrap itself around this thermos flask so let's see what happens it's been well it's been a minute or two and it's already shrinking beautifully uh, these things are a little strange it's already wrapped itself tightly around the bottle let's leave it to go some more so we've literally only had the oven on for a few 
minutes. I would say two or three minutes and already the plastic has shrunk. I don't think we've reached the critical temperature yet where the plastic completely relaxes. But we're keeping an eye on it. Strange thing happening at the top there. But look how tightly this has arranged itself around here. It's formed almost a perfect sleeve. Yeah, it's not going to get any better than that. So I'm going to switch this off and leave it at that. Well, I'm pretty chuffed at that. Really unchuffed at that. How well, just look how well this plastic has fitted itself around this piece of metal. So you've got a bottom there where the bottom of the bottle was. I think it will still stand on that bottom. So it still stands okay. And I guess all I have to do is take a pair of scissors and these little areas here, they were a slight disappointment in, in that they didn't seem to, well, they crinkled. So we could just cut them off like that. And now we have a clear sleeve of plastic all the way around this uh, thermos flask which should greatly add to its ability to retain heat and you know what we can with as many bottles as we've got we can repeat this process so in the next time i get a ginger beer bottle i just do the same and i just keep on building up layer upon layer of uh, insulation around this metal flask and it won't be as good as a vacuum flask but it'll be a lot better than it was i'm very chuffed at that i want to talk for a moment about us as human beings remaining plastic that means open to change and able to change i don't think that i woke up this morning thinking i would do this and yet here we are and i don't know when the idea came to me to try I think it was yeah, a few about an hour ago that the idea came to let's try molding plastic around this rather useless water bottle and now or flask thermos flask and now it's into a useful thermos flask and the more layers i add the better it'll become so if you take like a weaver bird it's hardwired to make its nest and do what it does but we human beings we are more software driven it's like we are born with this empty programmable ability so we can become whatever we want to become i hate it when youngsters say i am what i am and i can't help what i am it's ridiculous you are what you currently are but you should be open to becoming a better you you know don't be yourself i hate that concept too become a better you become jesus christ don't become yourself don't be content with staying yourself no matter how you are don't be yourself. Be yourself is the worst thing. Be all that you can be is perhaps a better idea, but rather become Jesus Christ. Aim for something, someone that you aspire to, that you don't just settle. I mean, settle for you. And you hear teenagers who have done nothing, are nothing. They're just a ball of potential. And they then they, they limit themselves by saying, I am what I am. I can't help it that I am quick-tempered. Of course you can help it. There's no such thing as quick-tempered. It's just bad habits that's been inculcated into us. And I see old people who are just as pliable as young people. So it's all in the mind. Isn't it just so wonderful that we are software? We are probably one of the few species we're born with this big 
you've got to teach a baby everything. They know nothing. You program the baby, and the baby can be programmed this way or that way or the other way or a million different ways. You can become anything. Not anything. There are limits to your ability, but you can become so much more or different or or whatever. So, <laughs> so don't ever just sell yourself short and say, I am what I am or I can't help what I am or that's just the way I have to be. No, you don't have to be anything. You can, every day you can make a change for the better. If something's not working for you, change it. If it is working for you, why change it? But if you've got an unhappy marriage, think about it. Look at how other people, maybe they just talk nicer to each other. Maybe they just refuse to be nasty to each other. They just get refuse to get sucked into an argument. And then their marriage improves. There's always ways we can improve everything if we are open to and remain plastic.